Hi, this is Hugeman from Hugeman's Huge Encyclopedia. Now, in this video, we are going to look at how well an AMD's new flagship 3900X CPU works with a B450 budget AM4 motherboard, with an emphasis on memoryable clock and the CPU performance on the PBO compared to more expensive X570 motherboard. Do you really need an X570 board to fully utilize latest Ryzen CPU. The B450 board tested is MSI's B450 motor, which is hugely popular with its affordable price and good build quality. Uh, the test was started with version 17 BIOS, but during the live stream, version 18 dropped and I had to update the BIOS mid-test. The X570 board to compare to was ASRock's X570 Tai Chi with its latest 1.6 BIOS. For the memory overclocking test, I've used two sticks first and test with four sticks later. The DIMMs used was a quadruple set of G-Scale Ripjaws. 3200 CL15 modules which achieved 4000 CL16 on our Intel test system. As the test was live streamed, we've only tested the stability of the memory OC for a short time, so take the result with a grain of salt. P450M motor with a version 17 BIOS could boot with a setting of 3866 CL15 and finish around the MEM test 5. X570 Tai Chi was able to do 39, 33, CL16, so it was a little bit better. But upgrading to BIOS version 18 improved the B450 board quite a lot. With two DIMMs installed, the B450 board reached 4200 CL16. The memory OC performance is quite high and it surpassed that of much more expensive X570 Tai Chi and it showed that motors Gauge chained memory slot layout outperforms Tai Chi when only two DIMMs are used. But with all four DIMM slots populated, the motor lagged slightly behind the Tai Chi. The B450 board topped out at 3800 CL16 with all the memory slots populated. While the Tai Chi was able to perform at blazing fast 3933 CL16 even with all the slots populated. This shows that with all the slots populated, X570 Tai Chi's T topology design does better. Tai Chi 3933 CL16 result is quite impressive and as the board is yet to receive latest Agessa 1.0.0.3 AB update as of the filming, uh, one could argue that its memory OC performance may improve more after the update. The Bora is also no slouch in memory OC with its budget price and due to its stage chain layout, it can do very impressive 4200 CL16 with only two slots populated. Uh, for the CPU performance test, we ran some synthetic and gaming tests. It took us time as the information on maximum PBO setting is quite sparse as the platform is quite young. But after maximizing PBO limits on both boards, the B450 board performs quite similar to the X570 board. The motor scored 74.12 in Cinebench R20 multi-core benchmark, which is within the margin of error with Tai Chi's 74.55 points. The single core score is also similar with the motor scoring 518 against Tai Chi's 515 points. The B450 board scored 11551 in Time Spy CPU test and the X570 board scores 11538. Fire Strike CPU scores are also very similar as you can see here. A few games we tested show similar results. In the Division 2, both boards ran at the same FPS and the Total War 3 Kingdoms Battle benchmark showed the same results too. While running this test, B450 motors VRM temperature never exceeded 60 degrees Celsius and X570 Tai Chi's much more powerful VRM never got hotter than 40 degrees C. Other than difference in VRM temperatures, there was no discernible difference in performance between two boards. And motor Thus, VRM was never too hot to warrant a caution, although it was hotter than Tai Chi's VRM. Lastly, we also test the stock cooler with B450M motorboard, and it showed some performance degradation only in Cinebench R20, which is a multi code synthetic benchmark, compared to the test result with custom water cooled CPU. In games and other typical workloads, it didn't matter if you use stock or better cooler. While we do recommend better aftermarket cooler for sake of no lower noise and better boost ability, but the CPU can perform quite well with the stock cooler if you have to use it. 
what do you think? The results say that 3900X actually works quite well with the budget motherboards like B450 motor. A side note, MSI's newer BIOSes dropped quite a features like pretty UEFI interface and some menu items, especially for overclock enthusiasts. Their new BIOS lack of safe profile features especially a pain in the ass. If you try overclocking the memory and it fails to boot, you have to reset the BIOS and enter all the settings from scratch. Ouch. But the fault is on MSI, not on B450 chipsets. So if the lack of BIOS features is a concern for you, you can always choose B450 boards from other manufacturers. With the release of Ryzen 3000 series, there's a lot of complaints about X570 boards, steep price tags. But as you've seen today, budget AM4 boards have no problem running AMD's most powerful consumer CPUs. I hope this information helps you guys plan on affordable Ryzen films. I'll be seeing you with more informative videos. Huge Mon signing out.